I know it's not exactly Cagney and Lacey, but sometimes it does have its moments. Oh, it's all right. The first week on the job, it's been quite interesting. What's Cagney and Lacey? Really? Oh, never mind. Now, here's something interesting. This place used to belong to a bit of a local legend. Harry the Hammer Hargreaves. You can guess what his M.O. was. And one night, his past caught up with him, and he just disappeared, never to be seen again. What? Never? Not a trace. Never did figure that out. But ever since, every so often, we'd hear strange tales, sightings, things we couldn't explain. Come on, I'll tell you all about it over a nice cup of tea. There's an all-night cafe around the corner. <laughs> Hang on. This isn't the first time this place has been found insecure. And it's not somewhere you'd want to be found after midnight, if you know what I mean. So, what are we going to do? There's no lights on. We'd better check it out. How are you going to call it in? Call what in? Open door at Harry Hargreaves's. If there's something to call in, we'll call it in. I guess we'd better go take a look. No Al Capone, but he was a lunatic and people were scared of him. Who's Al Capone? Bloody hell!
fuck? Yeah, very fucking funny people. Come on then, where are you? Shit. Who is this? That's supposed to be Harry Hargreaves. Yeah, very good. Look, I haven't got time for this. Come on, will you? He's still alive. Fuck off. Not you too. Bloody hell. It is him. This isn't fucking funny, people. The radio's not working now. Y you try yours. What are we going to do? You're not going to do anything. Would you please not shine a light into my retinas? Thank you very much. Who are you? And what the fuck's going on? Who am I? Well, that's a very good question. As much as I'd love to discuss the situation and the inner workings of my mind with you, I'm afraid your arrival has temporarily set me back slightly. But seeing as we're playing questions and answers, it's my turn. What should I do now? Oh, please don't kill us. That's not why I'm here. The gun has merely pointed at you for my own protection, just in case either of you get any ideas. No, no, no. You're all right on that score, isn't he? Yeah, 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 of course, yeah, of course. I really hope so. So many of you decide to have a go. Be a hero. Make a difference. You don't. Hence the need for people like me. Look, Harry Hargreaves vanished ten years ago. And now he's sat in there. Ten years? Really? Well, I have no idea who Mr Hargreaves is or his business. My client and Mr Hargreaves had dealings a long time ago and I was brought in to mediate. We shouldn't be here. No, you shouldn't. So how was the remedy this? You could just let us go. <laughs> yes, I could. But I'm not going to. You could just uh, turn yourself in. Now we're rearing into fantasy. You could just leave? Oh, I will. But well, I'm afraid both of you have seen my face now and that really won't do. So I'm afraid one of you will leave us. And that in itself will be an incentive to the one that remains to suddenly develop amnesia with regards to my features. Both of you will present your case as to why you should live and the other should die. I will then decide. Shall we say ladies first? Don't... Don't kill me. I'm still young. I've got my whole life ahead of me. Kill him if you have to, he's old. You cheeky bitch, I'm only 55. Will you be quiet? Please continue. And as much as I love a cliche, seeing as your life is at stake, I think a little more originality might be in order. Um. I'm only here because of my dad. He's a police officer too. My whole life. This is all I've known. Nobody actually asked me. Nobody cared what I liked. I like animals. Elephants actually. Secretly, I, I've been reading up on them. Going to the library game books. I mean, none of that even matters anymore. My future's been decided for me. It was, anyway. And what about him? He's had his whole life. <laughs> and what have you done with it? Nothing. For nearly 30 years, Walking the beat. No ambition. Same old places, same old faces. But I'm still young. There's things I want to do still. Fuck you. No, fuck you. 
I see. So if I let you live, you will quit the police and pursue your dream regardless of what your family will say? Yeah, I promise I will. I promise. Good. Now it's your turn. Well, in a few weeks, I'll retire on a full pension. And I'm not going to jeopardise that. Just me and the wife now. We uh, have a dream about moving to Spain and holding up a little bar. I've always wanted to be my own boss after being told what to do for 30 years. I like to paint. I've never told anybody that, especially on the force, because they'd just laugh. I like money, actually. Not much good, but it's my little thing. I don't deserve to die. I paid my dues. I've been a good cop. I deserve a chance. And I ain't going to fucking die. So you can play Doctor Doolittle with fucking Dumbo. You bastard! You cow! Fuck cow. Off. No. That's enough. It's not me that's crying. Nibbling Fuck cow. off! No. Yes. Well, oh, yeah. well, you both presented as good a case as can be expected under the circumstances. It's time to make my decision. No, 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 kill her, kill her, kill her. No, 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 said that's enough! And you both turn around and face that wall, please. No, no, no. Oh, God, no. no. Facing the wall, if you don't mind. So remember what he said. Not a word ever to anybody. I told you, worry. Who believe us anyway? Hey, that was a bit cagney and lacy, wasn't it? More like the bloody twilight zone. Now remember, not a word. So what are you going to do? I'm resigning. First thing in the morning. What are you going to say if they ask you why? I'm not. And neither are you. Don't you worry about me. You just keep your mouth shut. Come on, let's go before somebody sees us. Oh. See? 
told it sometimes had its moments. Oh, yeah. What's the twilight zone? Come on, let me get you that cup of tea.